We joke about uh, passing Voyager on, on its way out and we'll sort of wave it's goodbye. Right. <laughs> Space exploration has always been very expensive, very large, very difficult to do. Uh, but for about the last decade, we've been building some very small spacecraft and uh, they've been highly capable. Our next step is to actually push these spacecraft beyond. So we're trying to develop a new thruster technology, a miniature thruster, to mount on a CubeSat. These are small spacecraft that are about the size of a loaf of bread. We'll use this new thruster to push these CubeSats out away from the Earth, escape Earth orbit, to explore things like asteroids and Mars. And eventually we want to go to the moons of Jupiter and Saturn to look for life. We've seen uh, the Kickstarter community and how they respond to some of these challenges and how they sort of take ownership of some things that they want to do, they want to go for. We think this is something that will resonate very well uh, with that community. We want to use Kickstarter to really accelerate our technology development, compress that timeline and go from initial seed data to flight in about 18 months, a much faster time scale than is possible with traditional grants. This thruster technology that we're developing does not exist right now. If we wanted to try to go do a mission like what we're proposing, we wouldn't even make it out of Earth orbit. Now, one of the things that I think is interesting about your propulsion system is the, uh, is the fuel that you plan to use. I mean, it's as simple as water. Water doesn't like ignite, right? That's right, yeah. <laughs> We're changing the paradigm a little bit and using a liquid propellant. Uh, we want to use water to start out with. We'll take this water, we'll ionize it into a superheated plasma, and then we'll exhaust that out the back of the thruster. Because we can store our propellant as a liquid, we can store a lot more of it in a very small and compact space. You know, we're not talking five years, 10 years, decades to get this stuff done. We're ready. Uh, we've got the team in place, we've got the facilities in place, uh, we have the energy. Um, now we're just looking for those uh, financial resources to, to get the parts, to get the people hired, and, and make, that, uh, make that push. We hope to get enough to develop all the technology, test all the technology, get to a functional unit that we can light off in the lab, go through the full metric of testing. Once we have a good, a good thruster unit that we know will work, then we'll really send them on their way to deep space and start exploring. People are using a phrase called uh, citizen space. So these are citizen explorers uh, that are getting involved in, in supporting and running and directing. I used to say the sky's the limit, but you know, it's not. It's just like a whole new world. It doesn't take the, you know, the budget of a small country to pull this off. A few of us get together, uh, we can do it. <laughs>